Hey everyone, it's Ismay. Welcome back for some more Someday You'll Return. I believe we're still in chapter three, so we're gonna go ahead and finish that up and probably start chapter four today. We just talked to the first NPC that was in the flesh, because of course we've talked on the phone at least once. And then, you know, a couple texts, but nothing too crazy. And now I don't have a phone, so it's good to see someone. Anyways, let's jump on in and keep on looking for the kiddo. Wait. Wasn't she, like, right? I didn't realize that she, uh, or maybe she left. I don't. I don't know if she left or if she disappeared, so I'm not going to freak out about it. <laughs> For now, let's just continue on our yellow path. It really is a shame. Oh, there's the camp. We're so close, finally. The shame that we lost our phone, so we can't just, like, check it and make sure if um, our daughter is even still there, you know? She could have left the camp and gone home by now. As we've been stumbling through the woods. Okay. I don't think I need the map right now. Huh? Lucky Leaf Summer oh, Camp. Heavy disrepair, maybe? Bella! I'm here to bring you home! Huh, I see. It won't be what easy. is up with that weird whiteness over there? Okay, we probably don't need any new herbs right now. I believe I'm pretty topped off. I don't want to spend a bunch of time. Okay. Explore the camp. Mess hall. I would love some Voices food. Coming from inside. It's not stealth. Should be careful. Yeah, locked. Wait. Mm. Definitely a man, and I think I heard one woman. I don't know if I want to know why they locked themselves in there. This place is really run down. Jeez. Weird that people are out here, and like, it's in. It's it's weird that it's not maintained if people still come out here. But I'm trying to. What is this? Oh, just a flagpole. Come out, I'm here! Just start screaming, honey, I'm home. Um I'm wondering if we already picked up a backpack. I don't think it was hers. I think it was just like a random backpack. So I'm wondering if maybe we'll find like a backpack or a shoe or just something to at least indicate that she was here, you know? That's weird. Sleeping bags. This is actually a really cool tent. I like it. I know I said weird, but no, I, I like it. Mm. I, I never was someone who went to summer camp. There's that foggy stuff over there. I was never really interested. Ooh, that was a little bit glitchy. Oh, e yes. I have no idea what any of that means. Now we have to find a code book, guys. Um, but yeah, I never. Not that I was ever super interested in going to summer camp. It is one of the things, looking back now, I kind of regret not doing. I'm on the um, there is some weird breathing going on behind me. And I don't think I want to leave this. No. Uh, anyway, hello, sweetie. Mommy and Daddy are so s happy that you are feeling better. We were worried sick that you'd have to leave your beautiful camp. How goes the music composition with our little Mozartist? 
We hope that you don't forget to compose every day. We want the whole world to know how talented our sweetie pie is. Listen to this. I called my friend and imagined this. A real music professor wants to see your music. It'll cost us, but we're always here for our darling little girl. Don't forget to practice and brush your teeth at least three minutes twice a day. Love, Mom and Dad. Was she much? Jesus. This has to be like an echo of the past or something. All of them. I wonder if there's a potion or something that'll attune me to that. It might even just be the calm mind one because that's the same kind of look. David V. Hello, David. Did you happen to have code in here? Oh. Uh, July 4th. Looks like another boring summer stuck in this place, and they took away our phones, too. I might as well write this journal to keep myself occupied. July 5th. Oh, yeah, Eaglets. What a dumb name. And now we're supposed to play some stupid games. July 6th. Oscar is so cool. He tricked Daniel by giving him some cheap Chinese cell while keeping his real one hidden. Now we let a few of us play games on it. Epic. He told us that it was a great idea, but it's a secret. July 8th. We are now the Inquisitors. Ha, I love this. Forget that stupid camp stuff. We got a real game going on. It's secret, so I better keep quiet. Am I the Daniel that he tricked? These aren't year dated. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, July 10th. I don't know about this game anymore. Things are getting kind of nuts. Oscar is still awesome, but maybe we should t chill a little. I'll talk to him tomorrow. July 11th. I spoke to Oscar and he blew up. He threatened me with some holy punishment if I ever talk like that again. I just wish all this would end. For now, I'll stay quiet and not try anything. July 13th. It's getting worse and worse. Now I'm not doing a thing. Not even speaking. I just want to survive without being punished. July 14th. They're planning something tonight and it might end up really, really bad. Well, damn. That got real. Uh... Anyway, let's all gather on the fire and sing songs. Happy fun times. If we're still playing the tracking game, there's another ribbon. Um, one of these tents has to have the code, right? Or a key or something? Dear Mom, this year is not... It's not fun here. Daniel's always away setting up his big camp game and we're stuck here with the boys who are always doing crazy stuff some of them had this great idea about playing camp inquisitors and they beat up other kids well unless they come after me they can do whatever they want boys are always so stupid much worse is that hetla who is supposed to finally leave camp along with her stupid harmonica is still here her rotten skin is suddenly getting better this is not a miracle anyone wished for love gabby rotten skin huh I feel like I dealt with that a little bit. The sludgy sludge. You know what I did just realize though? Because I want I was kinda interested in lighting it up. I don't have my phone anymore, so I don't have a flashlight anymore. So I really hope there's no more creepy bunker crawling. <laughs> This might be the last tent. What the heck is... Okay. Like sludgy stuff. <laughs> we didn't find a key. Yet. And we didn't find... We didn't find a key to that. Or it's to me, the code. Oh. Dad. Daniel, you started me. <laughs> Startled? Did I say started? Hmm. It's me, your dad. Some kid walks out from behind a bush. Dad? Locked. Okay. Everything is locked here. I can't tell if that's just regular mud or dirty sludgy stuff. Okay. I think there were a couple... Is this away from the camp? Because I don't think we're ready to... Regress too far away from the camp. Can wash our hands though. Yeah, refresh. Feels nice.
Yeah, I was going to say there were a couple other little houses I definitely looked through. Okay. Yeah, let's go up here to this big building before we go too far. Just because there might be at least something in there. And yeah, it's also a good possibility that we do need to just keep going further. But I feel like there should at least be an answer to one of the two problems we're having. Since we've taken this long to get here. This has been our main goal so far was just to get to the camp. Alright. Another note. Beware, brave warriors. Our main anniversary, the evil witching. Going to burn. Oh, ad anniversary? Did they mean adversary? It's going to burn at the stake. Poor woman who goes under the name of Hada. He already managed to convince the Simberg's castle master that the crayfish he catches and eats are actually venomous scorpions. Witching spread this lie <laughs> to prove that she has formed a pact with the devil and now he has an excuse to dispose of her. Nothing could be further from the truth as we all know that the crayfish meat is delicious. Walk the path but failed to rescue her. It's up to you now. Exit our settlement through the main entrance and turn left. Go until you reach the brook. There for a small bridge and cross to the other side. If you follow the brook, you'll find a helpful crayfish. It will show you the way to poor Hada. If you manage to save her in time, there might be a reward waiting for you. Do I... Do I need to go save somebody? Like... <laughs> most of these notes feel like they're years and years past, but... I'm kind of wondering if I need to go, like, save some Hello? poor woman. Oh. Are you there? What's that sound? It came from upstairs. I need to get inside. And fast. Right. I need to find a key. There always was a spare one around. Around where, sir? Hot? I'm not gonna look for like the special rock. Though I might have to. Just like oh, oh this. Oh. Um, head. You don't forget to turn on the main fuse of the power column. I don't. I, I don't know. We'll come back to that. I just turned everything on though, so like, yay. That barbed wire up there is. That's weird. That's a little bit strange. Like, it seems like, like a religious kid summer camp. I don't know why they need barbed wire up there. Air key. Air key. Okay. I am gonna try to cross the brook. And look for a bridge because maybe the reward, quote unquote, is the key. Unless I like accidentally run across it and like get really lucky. Oh. Okay, another collectible. Not gonna lie, the first one looked like. That rock looks like it would be a rock with a key under it. But anyway, the first little collectible we found like that, um, I thought it was just like an antique coin type of situation. But that one looked more like a picture pinned to wood. Okay. Yeah, let's go find a little bridge. Find a key. It would be back at the I don't know, there's a lot of ground to cover. So we'll start with what we know. I don't need to wash my hands again. Gosh. The last time I was around something like this. 
It went really... <gasps> yeah, yeah, it went really bad for me last time, too. Okay. Well... I don't want to. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Was the point really to come down here for nothing? Like, other than to get spooked? Because I can't grab anything off that. And I can't go that way. <laughs> um, maybe it's something I have to come back to? Maybe I have to put something on the platform? Alright. At least it wasn't so bad. Because the last time we crawled through wrecked bars, you know... Shadow Man rolled up and bopped us. I'm really interested to see like what like I don't I don't know if they're monsters, if they're people what happened to them cuz yeah. Something's definitely a little bit fishy. And I have no idea what it would be. Ooh. It's a crayfish. Means... Ooh, okay. How could the painting survive so long? I remember ooh. one of the kids thought would it, it was be this? real blood. I wanted to come back and get these, but never got the chance. So we start here. Do, do, do. Or wait. The camp is that away. The crayfish. And you go to the, the E. Okay. Where's the. Oh, there's the little bridge. Okay. Um, let me pull out that map again. Journal, would it be document? Last open, maybe? Yeah, how does map? Okay. And then we're going to go to the left and just kind of circle through the trees and stuff. Got it. Now, my question, probably not along the actual path, right? It'd probably be... Yeah, this looks a little bit windy. Okay, hey, Hada. Please don't be like some. Okay. It's not anything but a very dirty old dress. Do I put? Oh, sweet! I'll take that. Do we not need the? Okay. I guess we don't actually need anything but the key from this. Back to the camp. Now I'm really kind of wondering, like, the point of that cave. But like I said, maybe we'll we'll get back to it. Maybe I wasn't supposed to go there just yet, or maybe it really was just for a spook. Who knows? Oh no, I don't like that. Oh wait. Normal. Everything about that is normal. Mm. On the bright side though, it was just a random crazy fire that had nothing to do with me. <laughs> I'm not being chased yet again. Like. We did so much chasing in the last episode that I'm just glad we had kind of like a chiller experience this time. I like the story building. <laughs> it's a good break. Even if it's probably going to just come crashing down on me very soon. Like when we open up this house. I kind of want to check 
info and see if I can unlock this mess hall first since we did hear voices in there. See if there were like people trapped in or whatnot. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't look like a bad situation. I thought. Locked. Okay. Don't I have a key? Yeah. Locked. Can I not use this? What kind of key is this for? It's just a heart. That doesn't help me. Okay. Maybe I don't have the right key. <laughs> uh, we could try this one too, real quick, just to see if it unlocks this. And if not, we'll just go to the main house, because the keys to this place might also be in the main house. Yeah, maybe. Locked. Maybe I'm just not using the key properly. One way to find out. I do hope I didn't miss the code though. Like a code cracker. Or maybe it's an actual like well-known code type thing and I just I don't know it but I can always look into that if I don't find a note helping me out locked okay locked. there has to be a key somewhere in the camp wait locked. there has to be a key somewhere in the camp is this really like okay so maybe this key does only open whatever that is. Okay then. Well, I guess we weren't done with map exploration. Un momento, my friends, while I get over there. That's new. <laughs> oh shoot. Hello there. You are not what I was looking for, but I will gladly take you. Yes. Huh. Here we go. I've done this so many times, how could I forget? Did... Why didn't you tell me then? Anyways, <laughs> not what I was looking for, like I said, but I will take it. I forgot that I kind of had to do that anyways. However, um, I was just going to say that I did go back to the burning area and I found absolutely nothing. So I'm just going to look around more behind buildings and stuff to see if I can't find like where the little heart key would go. And hope. I wanted to the burning building today are getting even with cutting out like the roundabouts I didn't need to take I think we're getting to about that time anything on either of these um doo -doo. we've camped that's where we are I think we've gone through so like I believe we gone through a lot of these places now not sure how many off the map places we get to explore but plenty to satiate our need get around this building there's a weird back door we could try going through and turn lights on in every building Hmm, no. <laughs> not today. That's a whole bag of crazy that I'm not quite ready for. I think we flip the switch and stuff. I'm wondering. What is that up there? Lookout tower? Um. I guess. Let's 
Let's look again one more time if we can get around anything in here. And if not, we'll just... I don't know. We'll just, you know, keep doing what we do. Collectible. Nice. Things have just been going so smoothly, you know? And I know as soon as we... <laughs> I mean, minus like the one creepy thing through the burnt wire, it's just this, this whole brick addition doesn't seem like a good idea. Strange. It doesn't look like anyone's been here since we left. And that was years ago. This canned meat is a weapon of mass destruction. It was already here ten years ago. I remember some kids managed to get them open. After that, I don't think they ever wanted to see them again. Oh shoot! Bear keys. Got it. I'm glad we went through with going through the the whole situation today. Not gonna lie, wasn't my first, my first wish, but it wasn't that bad. I was only a little bit creepy. I'm kind of mildly concerned that our character is definitely at least a little bit insane. Just based on like all the whispering he hears, even when people aren't there, which kind of concerns. And the fact, like, is all of this stuff happening? Is it in his head? Where actually is his daughter? Like, okay, yeah, after the whole singing girl in the sled, sure, we can we can surmise that he's insane. Or, like, it was a, a dream because it bumped his head. We don't know. But uh, the more we go and, like, the crazy thing, like, for example, the dress lighting up on fire. Do we really think that happened? Anyway, guys, I'd love to hear your opinions while, you know, you hang out and wait for the next part because we are going to go ahead and call it here. I know it wasn't too exciting of an episode, but we did do stuff and things and made some progress. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been Ismay. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I'll see you all soon for the next one.